So I was looking through the comment section of my most recent videos and I noticed that Selgreen has suggested this fantastic idea on screen. I'm gonna zoom up, to pause the video if you want to read it. And I thought to myself, great, this is gonna be such an easy job. I thought this was gonna be an easy job because the function on player die by time should allow me to immediately detect the player getting killed by time, spawn a thumbnail at that location, and spawn a time at the, at the player's location of death. But then I noticed and I remembered that half of the fucking functions in custom logic don't fucking work. This of course includes the on player die by time function which is necessary and needed to accomplish what Selagreen sets out to do. And it absolutely breaks the game because um, the moment that your character gets technically killed, you become invincible, but you also can't move the character no more. So it ends up that you can get eaten time and time over again by the time, but then you can't do anything if you don't restart the game, which is absolutely game breaking. So you might ask, what the fuck are we gonna do Perla? You might not be able to accomplish what Selagreen set out to do, well guess what there is a solution a very painful roundabout way to do it you can have the game detect the amount of deaths that you have as a character and then you have the game coded so that it compares the amount of the numbers of death when a character is alive to the numbers of death that it's dead and when the numbers of death increases if your character dies it spawns a time in this is a timeline of me coding this stupid little code over here i'm not gonna fucking explain any more of this code because that is boring shit but what do you want to know? It works. It fucking works. I'm done. I'm happy. Here we go. The custom logic for this game mode is included in the description below, but you need to use the custom map and make sure to include the region that I have made that's called test within your game because if not, it doesn't work. The installation process for this is the exact same thing as the machine gun script. I'm going to link a timestamp for that process right in the description below. Check that video out if you don't know already how to install the custom map nor custom logic. If you say, say Prolo, I want to have a forest, for example. Well, guess what? I've got the perfect video for you. I made a forest generator. Go check that one out. It explains everything you need to know how to spawn forest. With that being said, if you've got any other ideas you want me to maybe consider trying to code using the custom logic, sure, leave them in the comment below. I'll probably kill another pair of my brain cells trying to figure out how to make those work. But yeah, I'm looking forward to them. I think. Maybe. I'll see you later.